Welcome back to Tush Valley Railroad. Um, while my layout's torn apart, here's another brief history lesson I just discovered online. Uh, found this website linked at the bottom here called UP Railroads Briefly. It was written by Bruce Sargent, who's a librarian and a railroad enthusiast at Northern Michigan University. Um, while my alma mater, Michigan Tech, and NMUR rivals, this article was just too good to pass up. So I reached out to, to, to Bruce this morning and already received an email back. Uh, he checked out my channel and said it looked pretty good before our basement was flooded. Um, and he allowed me to use a couple of the screenshots, uh, as well as a link to the article that has a lot more information that I'm going to share with you today. So it was very informative. If you like railroads at all, not just Michigan or Upper Peninsula Railroads, you definitely should check out the, his article that he wrote back in 2017. So this is a first slide that uh, really got me excited. Um, although Tesh is not labeled on the map, uh, but I can definitely tell where it is because it was a crossing right in the south central UP that had three different railroads crossing it. So there it is. That's Tesh. Uh, that's where I grew up. Uh, you may have watched in my other videos uh, pictures of the old switch tower in Tesh that was turned down before I was even born. Uh, the switch tower on my layout was painted and updated to match that tower with the Tesh uh, name on it. Uh, rumor has it, as I think I've mentioned before, the first switch master uh, that controlled that switch house, his last name was Tesh, therefore the name of the town. And the other rumor is that uh, he actually lived in my childhood home, uh, which was eventually built as a two-story log cabin back when President Lincoln was still around. So there it is right there. As you can see, we're west of Escanaba and Iron Mountains over on the, the far left there. So just east of Tesh, um, the main road, which is M69, uh, dips down into a bit of a valley to allow the branch of the Burke River to pass underneath uh, a little bridge there. Uh, my cousins and other friends that grew up in the area called that uh, branch of the, the Burke River, we called it Tesh Creek. And since, like I said, it, it's, it sits in a little bit of a valley, uh, that's where I came up with the name of my railroad. This is a map uh, that shows the largest extent of the uh, Chicago Northwestern Railroad. Uh, this time, Tesh is labeled over on the far right, uh, showing that two of the three lines that crossed in Tesh were CNW rails. Uh, these two rails were gone by the time I was born and lived here, uh, and at that time in the early 70s, only the, the Sioux line remained. So this is a map of the Sioux line from 1976, showing now only Tesh on the map, um, but also the town of Eustis. Um, my brother, his wife, and five daughters live in Eustis, uh, and now my parents actually live next door to him as well. Uh, my sister-in-law's grandfather, who recently passed away, uh, had a maple syrup business in Eustis for many, many years. Uh, the state of Michigan has incorrectly spelled Eustis with a T-A-C-E on some of the signs in the town, as well as Eustis Road, and um, Grandpa Terry would always correct people when they spelled it wrong. Um, and he was actually laid to rest with a t-shirt under his suit that said, Tis Eustace, just to make sure that uh, people always remember how to properly spell the town of Eustace. Um, this, uh, this is a slide that kind of breaks my heart. Uh, Tesh is no longer shown as there are no more railroads passing through it. Uh, I now have to watch videos of the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railroad to get my UP train fix from Jason Aslan. Uh, please check out his YouTube channel. Um, he documents and, and has videos of the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railroad uh, as it leaves Escanaba, goes through Kingsford and Iron Mountain and back and forth to Segola and Channing, and occasionally he actually chases it into Wisconsin uh, because some of the crossings in Wisconsin uh, have the big snow plow, uh, snow banks on the roads in the wintertime, so he always tries to catch those to show the, the snow exploding on the front of the train. And some of his recent videos actually showed the ELS Railroad using their snow plow, which was really, really cool. I, I miss seeing that kind of stuff uh, from when I was a kid. So, enjoyed uh, today's uh, little history lesson on the Upper Peninsula Railroads. Uh, thanks again to Bruce Sargent at Northern Michigan University. Uh, and please, if you like today's video, drop a like, comment, or think, consider subscribing. Thanks.